Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the Net Case Case Nicole, and we're back again with the shenanigans here on the Net Case Network. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, you guys. Be sure to hit that like button. Thank you to everyone who is here. Keep in mind that the messages are general, they may not be for everyone out there. So be sure to go with what you know. And remember, time is fluid. It moves like water. This could be past, present, or future energy. If you're interested in a personal reading, please check the description box below. I'm running a special right now. So be sure to follow those directions carefully, guardian angels, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, Mother, God, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for bringing the collective and I here today together. There are a lot of changes that are going on in you guys' lives. I feel like internal and external changes, okay? I feel like the changes that are happening externally are because of the changes that you feel internally. I feel like that's what your spirit guides want you to know. I feel like if you are seeing good things happen in your life, then that's because you're making good changes inside. If you're seeing bad things happen in your life, that's because you're going through some type of turmoil within your own soul. And if you want to change the outcome, you have to deal with what's going on in your soul. So what is the message from my collective guardian angels? Archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, father, mother, God. And if you're seeing a mixture, that means that you're wrestling with the change that is naturally occurring. That's what I feel. Okay. You're wrestling with the spiritual ascension because it's uncomfortable. But you're making positive changes. So you're starting to see those. But you may also be seeing negative things. But it's it, it's it's all in how you look at it. It's all about perspective. So what is the message that you want my collective to know? Collective. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Ooh, five of pentacles. So there could definitely be some financial loss going on right now. You could definitely maybe, you know, you could definitely be asking. <laughs> definitely, maybe. I feel like some of you guys could be maybe applying for food stamps. Like government assistance of some kind. You may be going to churches, pantries, things like that to try to help get food. I feel like a lot of you guys are also trying to maybe sew together winter clothes. Like you're you're trying to save, you're trying to scrimp and save. And I feel like a lot of you have children or you have someone who's with you that is less capable of helping themselves. Like they, they rely on you. They depend on you for help. Okay, I feel like some of you guys are, are tired of having so many people depend on you for help because then it's like when you need help, who's there for you, okay? But I feel that there could be some financial struggles, things going on right now that you're dealing with. Oh, shit, Ten of Swords, what the fuck? So, I mean, there was definitely painful situations. There's a painful situation you're trying to get over. You're not over it yet. Something where you felt abandoned, something where you felt left out, something where you were ostracized. A time when you needed help, but no one was there to help you. Yeah, four of swords, ten of wands. This could have been a job or or just stress. This, But this is piled up over years and years and years. Ten of swords, ten of wands. I feel like you're at the end of this. I feel like you're about to drop a burden, four of swords. I feel like you're recovering from, like some of you could have had some type of back injury. Everybody's laying down, like he's laying down. The four of swords is laying down. The 10 of wands back is showing. And then you have the five of pentacles with the cripple. I mean, no, I didn't mean to offend nobody, but like with the crippled person on crutches. So you could have been taking care of somebody on crutches. Ooh, Lord. I know how that feels. Or you could have been taking care of someone who is disabled. Some of you could have even had a disabled family member or friend. I don't want to say it, but maybe even a child who passed away. Or there was something, it might not have been that serious, but maybe you had someone who was less fortunate, someone who was dependent upon you, who maybe was in a bad situation that they had to get out of and you had to help them get out of it. 
But now it's like you're dealing with the aftermath. You're trying to heal. You're trying to either help them drop the burden or drop the burden yourself. But I feel like it's causing you a lot of stress. And some of the stress I feel like is self-imposed because whatever this is that you lack or you feel like you lack or whatever this is that you feel like you lost, it was actually good that you lost it. Okay, because I feel like whatever situation this person was in or that you were in, it was causing more pain in your life. Yeah, six of wands, because this is now over, you're about to have victory. You're about to have success, triumph. You rose above the five of wands to get to the six of wands. You overcame the obstacle. You fought for what you believe in. Or you walked away when it was time to walk away. The situation has ended. And I feel like you're trying to get over it mentally. I feel like you're trying to process the thoughts that you felt about this situation. Or maybe some of the things that people said to you or said about you. And I feel like slowly but surely you're reconciling with it within yourself. Knight of Pentacles, title card. Yeah, I feel like slowly but surely you're waiting for the next opportunity to come. I don't care what this is. Loss of a job, loss of a person, loss of a relationship, loss of a whatever. The fact that this is over now is leading you to a victorious situation. It's for your good. Yeah, Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. So I feel like there there is going to be a, a lot of forward movement because you've risen above the drama. Literally, that's what I'm getting. I feel like you moved on from the drama quickly because you noticed a, a, a very, it's like a, what is that saying? A, like a sinking ship or like something going up in flames. More so I was getting the fire reference because of the wands. Like when people say it, the shit's going up in flames or shit is hitting the fan or like this is a sinking ship. I feel like you might have gotten fired from a job and little do you know within the next few months, it could be six to eight months, maybe even nine months, maybe next year. But you're going to find out that that business collapsed. I'm not saying we're wishing anything bad on people, but I'm saying that's how you have to look at it. Or it's like you're going to find out that someone went through something bad that you like you could it could have been you it could have been me it should have been me it would have been me if it wasn't for the blood yes so it's like you you were guided away from a situation yep six six of pentacles and i'm thinking of the six of swords you were guided away from a situation i feel like you were given the answer to a confusing dilemma or you were given an option or a way out. Okay. Wow. It could have been me. Okay. Yeah, page of cups. Okay. Temperance. So I am getting Leo and Sagittarius energy. Of course, we have Taurus and Gemini. Yeah. So there's someone from this situation, something that you felt like you lost or were left out on or um, ghosted on or, or put in a negative situation. There was some dramatic stuff. That was going in, going that was going on. I feel like in a group setting that that has now ended for you. You're done with it. Either you've made peace with it, you've separated yourself, you're no longer at the job, or you're just ignoring people, right? But I feel like because of this rapid forward movement that you are doing, or the way that you left a situation, I feel like there is going to be there's communication coming in from someone who I feel like with temperance in the page of cups is trying to figure out how you feel about what happened. Like they're trying to, I don't know, like they're trying to figure out what somebody did to you. Like it, it could be someone from the outside looking in like now, 
There could be several situations. Yeah, tower at the bottom and the sun card. They're trying to find out what happened. Illuminate the tower. Somebody's trying to figure out what collapsed or what happened. Or why did you just disappear? Where did you go? I just heard Destiny's Child. Where did you go? I don't know. I know that I need you in this heart of mine. So baby, please come back to me. I know I can't live my life without you. It has been five days. You haven't called me. Do you still want me? Still need me? Am I on your mind? Are you thinking of me? Are you missing me like I miss you? So somebody's crying. Damn. I feel like it's been five days or it's been five weeks or maybe even five months. Something about the number five is significant. But I feel like someone's trying to like figure out like with the temperance card. It's like, wow, that doesn't make any sense. Like who did that? What happened? Yeah, four of pentacles. But I feel like you're not talking to them or I feel like maybe you shouldn't say anything because I feel that that's just going to suck you back um, into the drama. Okay. Yeah, death card. I feel like you need to move forward um, from this. I feel like whatever this is that you just experienced was a lesson for you to learn how to change the way you hold on to things. This was in the weekly message, but it's like it's really strong. So you're meant to be learning right now. Your transformation, your death that you're going through spiritually right now is focused upon learning when to let go of things when they're no when they no longer bear fruit that's what i'm hearing learning how to transition death to the other side okay or learning how to cope with someone who's transitioned learning how to deal with death this the the message that spirit wants you to know is that you are being made to learn because there was a point where you were made to be patient, right? And just see how things go. But now I feel like you've passed the test of patience to the point where now your lesson is to basically, like now the lesson is for you to basically know when to, to, know when to let it go. You were patient. You figured it out. You uncovered the secret. You know what's going on. Or at least you have a good sense of it from your intuition. But now it's like you're meant to learn how to finally separate that toxic energy or that codependent energy or that conflict and confusing energy. You're learning how to transition out of that and release it. Okay. King of Wands. Yeah. So you can basically get what you want. So that things can be balanced. So that you can now receive the good things, the victories, the successes that are coming to you. Because if you keep dwelling on what you've lost or you don't let that go, it's telling the universe that you don't want the blessing that's coming from overcoming this obstacle. Okay? But I do feel like there are temptations in that process. And what I feel is that you could be receiving communication from Maybe like a Sagittarius or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio about what happened. Like they're trying to get the details and things like that. Don't say anything. I'm getting don't say anything. You've moved on and that's it. You could tell them, hey, I get it. I understand you're confused. But at this point, I've moved on and I don't want to talk about it. Yep. Ten of Cups. And I feel like that's what's going to bring more stability more happy days, more prosperity, more togetherness, more feeling, more of a feeling of being one within your soul. More peace with the past. Yeah, it's going to bring you, it's, it's going to keep your peace with the past. Yep, so that you can accept this new opportunity, Ace of Wands, so that you can have new inspiration, new life. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. Okay. So that you can have new life. Come in. Yeah. Seven of swords. Somebody's being sneaky trying to get information. Somebody's trying to figure out what you know. Okay. I feel like it's either a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. Somebody who's got those 
placement strongly in their chart. Yeah, and I feel like they want to know why you made the decision to walk away from this job, why you made the decision to walk away from this church or this organization or this group. Yeah, they want to figure out why. They're like, where, where are you going to go now? They, they want to know your plan. Yeah, strategy. So somebody wants to know your plan of what you're going to do now since you left them or what you're going to do now since you, you know, got fired or, you know, quit or whatever. I feel like you walked away, though. So either you quit, you ghosted somebody or you just, you know, you might not have ghosted them, but I feel like you just couldn't give any more energy into it. You started holding back, changing the way that you communicate with people. This could be several people. Several different situations. Your family could even feel like you've distanced yourself. What it is, is that you were being made to be patient to uncover, based off your intuition, who was for you, who was against you. That was the first test a few months ago. If you look back and search made to be, you know, made to be patient or something like that, you'll find a reading. But you did that. You uncovered it. You, you're trying to heal and move forward. You're being patient with destiny, with, with your, you're examining your emotions. You're putting a plan in place to move forward from this. You're withholding your energy. I feel like you're, you're holding strong to your hopes and dreams. You're really holding firmly to the idea that transformation is key to your happiness. And you're blocking out anything that does not serve you because you can see that you're about to reach a victory and you know it's going to come in very quickly because you can feel a quick change of energy. But there's somebody here who wants to know your plan. They want to know why you did what you did. They want to figure out your strategy. So I feel like they may come in as they see you thriving, Six of Wands. Or because those people, I feel like in the background of the Six of Wands are some of the people from the Five of Wands. Okay, right? You rose above. Right. You're riding past the drama. So it's like they are watching you ride off. So this person can see you overcoming obstacles and creating victory in your life. So they're going to come and try to weasel in and figure out what you're doing. Yeah. I feel like they could. I feel like this definitely could have been like maybe a manager a, from a job. The title card is at the bottom. Um, but I feel like they're going to come in really quickly. And some of you, if this was a relationship and it was romantic, they could be coming in offering you some type of traditional relationship where they say they want to finally go steady, be with you. Yeah, they're going to offer. Some of y'all might even get proposed to Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys may even be offered a job after somebody like did you dirty on a job or something like that. But it's like... Just know, yeah, King of Cups, just know, I feel like someone is keeping, some, first of all, this person is keeping their motives hidden because I feel like their motives are sneaky. I feel like someone is trying to throw you off balance or just trying to be nosy and like pry into your information, okay? Okay about what's going on. They want to figure out all the details. No, that's none of their fucking business, okay? Because all that's going to do is drag you down off this her <laughs> this hearse. Wow. All that's going to do is drag you down off this horse. It's going to kill you. It's going to put you in a hearse. Like spiritually. Some of you it may it may even be as serious as you could get back dragged back into a bad situation where you might lose your life. There's going to be loss if you go backwards behind the six of wands. So I'm I'm just, you know, I hope you understand the stress of what I'm saying. Apology at the bottom. So, okay, what's hidden in this situation? What's hidden from our collective in this situation? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, romantic thoughts. And it flipped back in there. Fuck, no. Yeah, somebody's romantic thoughts are hidden. They didn't want you to know. They didn't want you to know how strongly they feel about you. They're having romantic thoughts about you, muse. You're inspirational to someone. So they're having romantic thoughts about you because you've inspired them in some way. You've changed this person's life. You've changed the way that they look at life. You've altered someone's perspective and you didn't even realize it. But I feel like it was because 
you stood your ground in a situation or you rose above the drama in a situation where everybody knew they were trying to fuck with you. Even this person. This person knew people were trying to fuck with you. They didn't speak up. They didn't say anything. They didn't come. To, I mean, they might have came to your defense, but I felt I feel like it would not really. Um, and I feel like it was more so they stayed on the side that was going to protect themselves. But it's like the way you handle the situation. Wow. Okay, what else is hidden from my collective in this situation? Manifest, yeah. So I feel like you've been, you you don't know that you've inspired somebody to change their life, to manifest new outcomes in their predicaments and situations. Yeah, tarot reading and addictions. Wow. I don't I I don't know. I'm not gonna. I don't know. But yeah, you you've managed to help somebody get through that. I feel like they want to they want to celebrate these romantic thoughts with you. OK, maybe you inspire somebody to get a new job like this could have been a situation where you had a really fucked up manager. They were treating people like dirty and you could have inspired other people to rise above that shit as well. You weren't the only one. You know, usually what it is, we always take it so personal and we're so vain as humans to think that we're the only ones that people do these things to, that we're, that we're the only ones that, you know, people do us wrong every day, right? Or people may try to do you wrong every day. You may not know it, you may not see it, but it could possibly happen, right? But we're so vain as humans to think that we're the only one who's being treated this way. And it makes us feel this like singular frustration that even though we know other people are going through it, because it hurts us so badly, it's like, it's the worst thing in the world or it's my pain is more serious than your pain, but it's really not because I feel like when you look at it from a situation of like, you know what, I'm just going to walk away and love you because I know you probably fucked up more than I know mentally and emotionally and you're probably doing this to other people more than me or other additional people along with me. So I'm just going to try to walk away and be the bigger person. I feel like that's what you did. Because it's like you knew that. It's like you knew with this hierophant that God basically was telling you you were doing the right thing. Whatever decision that you made, however you decided to proceed. You got a message from God that that's what you should do. And you followed it swiftly. And I feel like you know because you did that. God is going to follow up with these people in this situation swiftly. It might not be swiftly like tomorrow, but it's going to be in, in exactly the right perfect timing. Yeah, possibly around Thanksgiving sometime in November. I feel like you, yeah, transformation at the bottom and astral travel. I feel like you've manifested a change that you saw in the future. I feel like some of you guys have astral traveled in your dreams to your future self. And saw where your life was going to be. And you're trying to create that now. And I feel like because you're making these small subtle changes. It's about to happen. Okay. Yeah. Desires. Someone desires to, to be able to manifest the way you do. They want to be able to manifest a new career. A new job. This person. Whoever this is that's about to come to you. And I feel like ask you what happened in the situation. Or ask you about the details. Yeah, of this fight, five of wands, altercation at the bottom. So something could be happening on Halloween. Or it's about events that have happened in the month of October. Fights, arguments, altercations. People want to know what you said. What they say. I, but it don't make it make sense. Because they told me. And da 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 And all the whoop de whoop. And blah, they shut the fuck up. It doesn't fucking matter, bro. And I feel like that's what you're realizing here. That's what this message is. You saw that shit and you was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm finna go on and head out. Okay. And it's like somebody now, I feel like in November or around Halloween could be calling you or texting you or something like that, reaching out to you to figure out like how you feel about what happened or the details of what happened on Halloween or what happened earlier this month. But I feel like by Thanksgiving, if you continue to focus on what you want, what you're inspired to do, this new career, this new business or whatever it is that you're creating, 
by by Thanksgiving or by November, you're going to see progress, okay? If you continue to keep your head down and work. I also feel like by that time, some of these folks who I feel put you in this Ten of Swords energy and literally like we're talking shit about you all the time, trying to keep you stuck or even fucking with your business or your money. I feel like they're going to receive some type of karma around that time. And it's just going to be what's meant to be. Yeah, gratitude. But I feel like you need to be grateful for what you have. Yeah, because I feel like by Christmas time, by the end of this year, yeah, there's going to be a lot of celebrations going on. I feel like somebody was really, I feel like somebody behind the scenes really felt strongly for you on a romantic level. I feel like they desired you on a romantic level behind the scenes. I feel like they do want to celebrate with you because they see you successful, but you, yeah, purify phases. I feel like this part, you need to purify your energy of this person because I feel like what's hidden is that they're only around you because good things are happening to you. But when bad things, that's the point. Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Like I said earlier, when bad things were happening, this person, they may have spoken up for you slightly, but more so they were looking out for their own interests. It's like they didn't go up to bat for you like you might have gone up to bat for them. And you need to know that. And you need to know that when they come around trying to celebrate with you because that's the uh, motivation, okay? Someone could be getting arrested around Thanksgiving or Christmas. Okay, there could be, yeah, guarded. Mm. There could definitely, there's someone who I feel like is really, I don't know. It's like somebody's really stuck on stupid. That's the best. I, I mean, I'm trying to find a nice way to put it. It's like someone is against being grateful for you. Or showing you gratitude or showing you respect. It's like someone doesn't want to show you what you're worth. Yeah, spell work. Because they want you to think that you're not worth anything. It's like they want to they wanna protect what they had. So I feel like somebody threw you under the bus behind the scenes. But it's caused a transformation in your life. Yeah. I feel like, some, I, I feel like it's caused you to make a decision to be more protective over your heart but more so over the information that you give yeah because people are stupid <laughs> childish thank you people are thank you spirit thank you spirit like i said let stupids be stupid all right and people may not agree with that you may not like me but let stupids be stupid you let them be stupid okay let them be stupid i literally had to realize that from last night to today because there's a lot of stupid people who are trying to make me feel stupid, but I know I'm not stupid, okay? And if you know like you know like you motherfucking know, childish to finish it off, spell work, behind the scenes, guarded. So somebody was doing something to block you from being able to have something that you were already going to get anyway. Something Somebody was trying to block you from being able to change your life or move to another level or whatever the fuck but it was gonna happen anyway and the fact that they tried to block you i feel like moved it forward even faster because they were being childish they were not telling the truth they were lying on you lying about you yeah and and i feel like that's the missing piece of the puzzle but if you focus on what they said or trying to figure out what they was doing you're going to just, it's its just going to slow you down, my love. Okay, so just don't. <laughs> okay, just don't. I mean, that's the that's honestly the best, most concrete, solid advice I can give you. It's just, just don't. Just don't. Whatever you're thinking about doing, just don't. Whatever you're thinking about saying, just don't. Save your energy. Because when I tell you this victory is coming, which is going to lead to even more victories, because the guidance is just don't, don't engage, don't involve yourself, don't get upset, don't say anything, just don't. Because I feel like whatever, whatever you leave, whoever or whatever you leave to fester is going to eventually implode anyway, okay? Uh, so what is the advice for my collective to positively move forward? I mean, it's not funny, but I mean, yeah. Soul family. All right, exactly. And at the bottom, again, we have transformation. So not only do we have the death card, we have the transformation card in one deck and the transformation card in the third deck. 
Focus on the new day. That shit is in the past. If it was yesterday, if it was five minutes ago, bitch, that shit is in the motherfucking past. Let stupids be stupid, okay? And you be smart. People think it's stupid to let things go, but it's actually really smart. I'm learning that. I really am, you guys. And I thank you guys for being here on my journey with me and helping, letting me help you as I help myself through this journey we call life, okay? So Soul Family says, Kindred spirits unite. Unconditional love from a spiritual family. Tons of support and understanding. So I know how you feel. I'm not judging you. I know sometimes you want to tell these motherfuckers how you feel about them, but truth be told, I do feel like if there are things that you feel like you need to speak up on, you should definitely speak up. But I also feel that once you've made your point or once you've driven a point home, really be mindful of how deeper you drive that stake, okay? It's kind of like I see it as you standing on a wooden board or a wooden plank or a surface that's sturdy, but unpredictable and you drive a stake through whatever that surface is that you're standing on if you drive it just deep enough it could provide more st structure more of a structurally sound surface but if you drive it too deep the whole thing could collapse i think that's something you should think about transformation number 20 says Things are changing. Get ready for your new journey. It will be life altering. So I feel like with that and celebration, you have a lot of great things to look forward to that I feel like you've manifested. And now that we've gotten through the stage of being patient, now we're getting to the stage of receiving and knowing how to properly receive and how to properly release. And I think this is a lesson on now being able to effectively release a situation so that you can receive something better and bigger for your life, okay? So I hope you enjoy the messages. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out the description box if you're interested in our personal reading special. And if that's where we leave it, you guys, be sure to stick to the positivity today, every day. Be blessed, you guys, and don't let none of these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye.